How's it? Today is Monday, September 9th, and slow progress is still progress. Today I'm snatching. I am doing basically what I did last week, Tuesday. I'm just trying to do it better and trying to actually execute on the numbers today. So exactly the same weights, exactly the same reps for everything. I am doing 108 for snatch push press plus overhead squat, a 2 plus 1, fairly easy with that. I'm trying to snatch 98 for 3 doubles. Last week I missed a lot of lifts. I didn't make a single double last week. And today was better, but I didn't make a single double today either. Um, But it was better because I made more lifts. And I feel like I'm a lot more consistent today. And then I also did some snatch pulls at 108. Same exact thing again as, as last week, Tuesday. Last week was weird because I had from Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I had all of those days off from lifting. And then when I went into the gym on Tuesday, my shoulder felt unstable. I don't know if it actually was, but it felt like it could kind of almost just give out whenever I was supporting weight. And that's not a pleasant feeling. It's not a confidence inciting uh, sensation. And that kind of plagued me in, in all of my snatches. It also really affected me on my cleans on Wednesday. And Friday was horrendous. Here's my top set at 108, by the way. This weight flies. It's perfectly fine. I don't know if I like really feel anything in my shoulder here. I think I, I think I mentioned it on Tuesday last week, but a lot of what I was experiencing was sort of forward and backwards motions. Um, allow my shoulder blades to kind of move all over the place. But if it's going straight up and down, I, where I set my shoulder blade before I push, then there's like no issues like at all. But yeah, going back to Friday. Um, Friday was terrible. I, I, I couldn't even snatch 95 for a single. I missed it three times. I moved into my clean and jerks and I did 120 for one. And it was just pain, just pain everywhere. And I, I hate that that is what I showed on Friday. I feel like I could have given a much better effort with just everything i feel like i could have squatted if i wanted to i felt like i could have done pulls if i wanted to i feel like i could have executed on my snatches and i just didn't and yeah i mean i'm, I'm a little embarrassed with, with how how i sort of just gave up because i was just not like mentally ready for a challenging session um i think today i showed a lot more resilience i i missed a bunch of lifts and I was still very, like, in good spirits. I felt like I still could try the next attempt and still be better, you know, and still have a chance to make the lift. And for me, it's like, that is, you know, once you once once you give up, like, mentally, there's nothing you can do to, to really come back from that. And... I feel like today I didn't allow myself to to give up mentally, and that is a huge win. Um, For snatches specifically, one of the things that I noticed a lot today, it's it's been happening. I think the more and more I get away from actually practicing my technique and like thinking about the things that make my technique work, the like further and further away I get from what I know to work. Where it's like I I'm just kind of getting away with certain like lucky lifts and I think a lot of the lifts that I made today were you know pretty lucky um there is one lift I'm not sure if it was the fifth set but I was thinking about something very very different from everything else here's my first uh, set here first attempt um one thing to note it's very very important is that none of these attempts especially the first reps none of them felt heavy None of them felt like I wasn't strong enough to to do that, to do the lifts. And I think that that, like once I get in my head that I am unable to actually make the lift due to strength, then it's very easy for me to, to sort of 
uh, concede and just let the session be done. But because the weights are moving super well, and like I felt like I could, if I executed it with better timing, it felt like I could make every single lift just because I felt strong enough. I felt like I could just keep going. And, you know, I'm not going to try it one of those days again where I have like 12 misses. Um, ideally, you have no misses. And if you have more than one, then you're like, okay, maybe something needs to be addressed, right? Um, I was kind of in my head that a lot of the reasons why I was missing the lifts was because I was getting a little bit further behind the bar than I would have liked. So a lot of my mental cues were just to stay on top of the bar and extend up as long as I could. But that feels very general. Um, and <laughs> I'm frustrated here. But like I still think I could make it. Um, but yeah, I'll talk about the technique a little bit more. But this is the set right here. Um, let's see if you can see the difference. Like, look look at how different that looked. That was, like, night and day. And the thing I actually went into that lift thinking about was, actually, not, not technique-wise, but if I make this one, then I'm going to go down maybe to a lighter weight and then end up doing those doubles because I feel like the doubles are more important than the actual single rep that I was doing. But because that first rep was so fucking easy, I was like, all right, I'm going to try this second one. And I got very, very close to making that second lift. Um... This here kind of worries me. Like, I, I don't know. I'm sitting here right now recording this video. My elbows popped. Both of my elbows popped in that situation where I lost the bar behind behind me. Um, I might have lost the bar behind me in, in within the last year. I don't think I have. I mean, if you remember a video that you saw, uh, please let me know. But if that is true that I haven't missed the bar behind, um, I haven't missed the bar behind since 2015. Uh, the last time that happened, I actually tore my UCL. And I remember hearing a pop on that. Um, my elbow was fairly swollen at the end of the night. Uh, but right now, it, it seems okay. So I'm hoping it's okay. As far as the technique goes, the single thing I'm thinking about is just lifting with uh, my elbows. So pull my elbows up after extension rather than just allowing my, my sort of shoulders to have to kind of roll the bar towards me. And what that does is it allows the bar to be much closer because uh, Jason was telling me today, wherever your elbows go is where the bar goes. And, you know, I know that to be true, but I, I mentioned it earlier. When I get further and further away from practicing the technique I know to work, things just kind of gradually like deteriorate. And then now, you know, after a few weeks of that, you're like looking at your technique and you're like, what the fuck am I doing? This isn't even, this doesn't make any sense. I've never lifted like this before. And then you, you think about the technique again and you're like, oh, I'm not doing this anymore because I don't know for, for lack of a better term, I thought I had mastered it, right? Um, that's not good. So that is something that is going to be very, very instrumental this week. Um, also moving forward is just never to forget about where my elbows are in space. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Shoots.